Hi friends, today I will show you a shortcut method to find out cube root of any number. Okay. Now in order to find out a cube root of any number, just follow these two tables, table number one and table number two. In table number one, we have written cubes of one to ten. Okay. Now all you need to remember is this one to tens cubes. So if you see, one cube is one, two cube is eight cube. It's two, two is a two, two is a two, two is a four, two is a eight is eight. So two cube is eight, three cube is twenty seven. In the way, ten cube is hundred, one thousand. Sorry. And in table number two, we will write units place units digit of all these cubes okay so let's find out for one the units place will be one only because it's a single digit for two it will be the same eight now for three the cube is 27 but the units place is seven so for table number two the units place for three is seven for 4, the units, uh, the cube is 64, but unit place is 4. So we'll write units place for 4 is 4. In the same way, uh, for 9, the cube is the cube for 9 is 729, and units place is 9. So we'll write 9 here, and for 10, it will be 0. Now let's take an example. Suppose we need to find out. Uh, 6000 cube root of 6859 now remember one thing this matter only works for a perfect cube the number which is a perfect cube okay now um, 6859 is uh, we have to find out a cube root for this number so the method is divide this number into two parts okay the left hand side and the right hand side the right hand side of this line will always contain three digits so the three digits 859 will write down here and the remaining six will write down here now for the left hand side it's six we will find out from table number one that in between which two cubes six lies so six lies between one and six one and eight right six lies between one and eight so it will lies between one and two but we'll take the minimum one it is one so it will be one we'll write one here and for the right hand portion the units place is 9 right so we'll find out from table number 2 units place 9 comes for a number 9 so we'll write down 9 here so our answer will be 9 and if you multiply 19 into 19 into 19 you will get this number see how easy method is this by using these two tables table number one which contains one to a uh, cubes of one to ten and table number two contains the units place for that ten numbers okay now let's take another example uh, saying nine seven zero two nine nine okay now we have to find out a cube root for this number so we'll again divide it into two two parts the right hand side will always contain three digits that is 299 and the left hand side will contain 970 now we'll find out 970 from table number one 970 lies between which two 
numbers. So 970 lies between 729 and 1000, right? So it lies between 9 and 10, right? But we'll take the minimum one, that is 9. We'll write 9 here. And for the right hand side, the units place is 9. So we'll find out from table number 2, the units place 9 comes for number 9. So our answer is 99, this is the number. So if you multiply 99 by 99 by 99, so it will come this. See, uh, another example, 13,824, it's cube root. So we'll again divide it into two parts. The right hand side will contain three digits that is 824 and the left hand side will be 13. Now from table number one we'll find out 13 lies in between what numbers. So 13 lies between 8 and 27 so it lies between 2 and 3 but we'll take minimum that is 2. We'll write down 2 here and for the right hand part it says the units place that is 4 so we'll find out from table number 2, 4 comes for 4 only. So we'll write out 4 here. So our answer is 4. So if you multiply 24, so our answer is 24. So if you multiply 24 by 24 by 24, you'll get this answer. Now this is the shortest manner to find out any numbers cube root up to 6.